What's going on there, YouTube? CJ with the straight bait back at you. Finally, good grief, it's been forever and a day, I know. I uh, think I'm finally getting this room worked out and finally getting this stupid computer worked out. So hopefully, everything's going to be smooth sailing from here on out. Today, what I'd like to talk to you about is vaping wattages. Mm. Get a lot, a lot of comments across a lot of videos what wattage should i vape this at what wattage is good for this do i need 200 watts well we're gonna get into it you ready let's go Alrighty, so here we go and i know i know i can hear it already the trolls and haters are going to be commenting, meh, 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 whatever, people. These are just my opinions, uh, which are the right opinions. <laughs> um, so anyway, you know, we're seeing these 300-watt mods and 250-watt mods and 220-watt dual battery mods. And every time I see one, I'm just like, what? Like, what? what's going on? Um, I mean, vaping was to get people off cigarettes. Uh, now, I get it. It's become a hobby. It's certainly become a hobby of mine. Um, you know, and everybody wants the bigger clouds and blow clouds and tricksters and all that stuff. I mean, that's not me, but, you know, to each their own. Uh, but at any rate, uh, wattages. So, like, does uh, is 50 watts 50 watts is 50 watts? Well, uh, I got a few mods here. We're going to kind of go through them. I'll talk to you about them. And, um, at, and then we'll wrap this up pretty quick. Um so okay a good example so i got this uh cks um you know vr stride 80 vr 80 stride whatever it's called uh which is a beautiful beautiful mod um and i've got the dot mod rta on there the coils are uh dual fuse claptons coming up 0.18 i'm running at 55 watts um and it's awesome Nice, dense, thick clouds. Tons of flavor. So, you know, that's 55 watts on a 0.18. I've got a, uh, a mech here, a dot mod Petri light with a, you know, Petri uh, V2 RDA. And I'll, I'll, I'll put up on the screen here or over here or somewhere uh, a screenshot of Ohm's Law. I got a 0.15 build in here. The battery's fresh, brand new. It's giving me 117 watts. So, more than double what that other mod is and the vapes basically this exactly the same I'm not getting any more vapor it's not any warmer it's still a cool vape exactly the way I like that other vape I like my vapes like a mom you know a little tiny bit warm lukewarm I guess I don't like them hot I even I, you know I prefer a cooler vape but you know, 117 watts, 55 watts, same same pr vapor production, same flavor, same temperature, basically, uh, and damn near the same near build. I mean, 0.15 and a 0.18, you know, very very similar. So, you know, you don't have to have 300 watts, you know, to get a good vape. Um, another example here, here I got my trusty old cuboid. If this has come up in videos quite a bit, I still rock my cuboid. Uh, it's a 0.46, 25 watts. It's same same vape as a 50 watt and a 117 watt vape. This has got the Vaporesso S Talk tank on it, ceramic coil. It's a great great vape. Um, so what am I getting at? So basically, the lower the ohm build. Typically, the more power you're going to need to, to drive that load. Uh, so, like, you know, I have a uh, on my Therion BF Squonker with a Cyclone, or, uh, yeah, Cyclone, I think it is, mods, uh, Hadley RDA. I've got a, uh, let's see, 0.70 ohm. Again, 25 watts. And here we had... 0.46 at 25 watts same it's gonna give me the same uh, style or type of vape Still a nice dense thick cloud 
nice and cool. So, what, what was I saying? Okay, so the lower the ohm build, the more power you're going to need to drive it, typically. But there are so many variables. Is it an RDA? Is it an RTA? Is it a sub-ohm tank? Just the different atomizer itself is going to um, change your wattage. Uh, what type of juice is it? Uh, you know, I, I could put in this in this setup right here. I can run a juice, um, and it's great. I'll put another juice in it, and I'm not liking it so much. Whereas on a regulated mod, if that happens, I can just adjust the power up or down to get the vape where I want it. Um, so there is no right or wrong, but. I mean, you can see 25 watts, 50 watts. That's kind of my, my wheelhouse is like 40 to 60-ish watts because um, I like them as cooler vapes. But even but on a single mech, I'm running 117 watts and I'm getting the same type of uh, vape. So, it you know, your wattage is going to depend on your device, your atomizer, your juice, your preference. Uh, it's going to, you know, vary wildly. Um, that's why regulated mods have been so uh, popular and successful because... You have you can fine tune that you know the vape up and down depending on the build and the juice and the atomizer and everything else you got going on. So, with that being said, uh, I just personally don't see a need for really anything over say a hundred watts. I mean, a hundred watts is, is more than enough for ninety nine point nine percent of vapors out there. Now I know there's going to be a few of you people that are like, ah, I got a vape at one hundred and fifty watts all day long. Well, that's just you're wasting juice, you're wasting battery. Because when you're at those higher wattages, you're just draining the shit out of your battery and you're probably blowing through juice for not much. I mean, how much vapor do you need in your mouth to taste it? And if you're if it's a nicotine thing, you know, to get the nicotine, which the answer is not a lot. Um, but uh, at any rate, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Got a little bit of rambly. But uh, hopefully uh, everything is, is working. Hopefully this video turned out well. If you, uh, if you like it, give it the old thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I've started to post there again. I'm going to try to get the website updated. Hopefully 2017 is going to be a spectacular year for the straight vape. Uh, and, uh, you know, helping people get off them stinkies. So, with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.